Hey hey hey, welcome to the channel. My name is Dart and today we're playing Medieval Cop Death Wish. Last episode we saw how Jack got thrown into a pit. D did he die? I hope not, but hey, let's find out, are we? You must be Mr. Morris. Looks like your time's up. Why don't you accept defeat and work for me instead? Screw you. Spoken like a hero, but you know what? Heroes die. <sighs> Wait, what? Drex is asleep? It was just a dream. Was it though? This is what I get for mixing my drinks with questionable ingredients. Weird dreams. But I guess I can't complain much if I wake up without a hangover. Well, it must be afternoon already, considering the heat that is coming from the windows. I should go now before Groot tears me apart for being late again. I don't know why I bother locking up if anyone did break in, they will probably cry in despair. <laughs> hmm, something feels off. Yeah, this is not your normal house, is it? I don't remember this area being so... lavery. And I certainly don't remember adding any lava waterfalls. I'm starting to feel that this isn't my home. Yeah, think? Excuse me? Is this the way to torture Lake? Uh, I don't know. I'm kind of new to this area myself. Are you sure? It's just supposed to be near the suffering mines? Sorry, ma'am. I don't know. Ah, that's fine. Enjoy your stay in hell. Yep, he's dead. <laughs> I think there is a tiny chance that I may have died. Yeah. I would come to that conclusion myself as well. Too bad, Drax. Too bad. You died. But will hell actually want you? <laughs> that's that's the question. Welcome to hell. <laughs> Episode 8 Death Witch. Okay, so we're in hell now. Okay, cool. Well, it finally happened. I'm dead and in hell. I just had to poke around and in the end I got thrown into a ditch by a man who is twice my age and has a god complex. A fitting end for my life. Oh well, no use complaining now. I should check the surrounding areas and get used to my new home. What is this? Hell isn't that bad. <laughs> Once you get used to the torturing and suffering. Uh-huh. How long does it take getting used to the torturing stuff? Usually around a thousand years or so. A thousand years? I don't have time for that, even though his soul is supposed to be eternal. <laughs> yeah, that means thousand years of actual hell. No thank you. I'd rather escape this place, if possible. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Why am I in hell? I was just a government worker. What was your job? I used to be a post office employee. Why are you way up here? <laughs> you deserve to be even lower than that. Damn. 
even in hell, he actually hates the post office for being there. <laughs> All the levers must face west to lower the spikes. P.S. The previous sentence is for employees only. Residents should ignore this sign. Oh, what the hell? Okay. <laughs> oh, it's one of those puzzles. Okay, I get it. Ta-da! We got it! Let's continue. Another puzzle? Okay, is hell going to be only puzzles? For real? The black boulder only turns clockwise. The brown boulder only turns counterclockwise. I don't get it either. <laughs> what am I... What did I do? Oh. I was supposed to do that. Hey, I got it. <laughs> and I guess this will do it. Ta-da! We got it. Let's continue. Okay. Alright, everything is in place. It's time to play the floor as lava. With real lava. Good thing I know how to jump. Those ballet lessons finally paid off. It still sucked though. <laughs> uh, funny. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. For real? Is that a... Is that a zombie? Hey, zombie kid, I wanna talk to you. Oh, hey, are you a zombie? Uh, finally, someone was as emotionally dead as me. So, what do you do for fun around here? Mm, uh, 29. 29? 20, 29 what? 29. Does he count to 29 or am I hearing something wrong? Uh, uh, hey, listen, I shouldn't be here. Sure, I tried to burn down the post office, but... Who hasn't? Zombie hate post office. They lost zombies' life saving medicine. So you agree with me, which is why I think I shouldn't be in here. Is there a way out? <laughs> the devil only he can do it. A meeting with the devil, huh? Sounds pleasant. Where can I find him? Mmm, 29. What's it? What are you? 29. Ah! 30. <laughs> okay. Oh, this is an Undertale. Yeah, this is definitely Undertale. This is the second time I was thrown off something today. And here I thought I finally made a friend. Where am I? Yep, yeah, this is definitely Undertale. Ooh, the walking feels a bit weird, but okay. Oh yeah, this is definitely Undertale. <laughs> am I going to see a flower now? It's dark in here. What the f... Howdy, I'm Polly. Polly the Pollinator! I don't remember taking any drugs. Hmm, you must be new too. Die, demented flower! Eh? <laughs> ah, what are you doing? Ain't no flower bitch will tell me what to do. Eh? Yeah, that's right. First, I meet a talking skeleton, then a zombie throws me off a cliff. The flower was playing something similar, I bet. What was that noise? What should we do? This wasn't on the script. I don't know. We weren't going to for this. Are there people over there? Maybe we should call the boss. Hey, assholes. 
I don't know what's going on, but I want to get out of here. Where's the way out? <laughs> what should we do? Usually only children come through here. Service here is terrible. I would like to meet your manager. <laughs> He's turning into a Karen, for God's sake. Hello? Ah, that's why I like it. <laughs> okay. Wait, what the hell? Ah, we're meeting the devil. Minion number one. How many people got married this year? Sir, according to Devilpedia, 745 people got married this year. I'm no expert, but shouldn't that be an even number? <laughs> it actually should. <laughs> Good. Married people have no idea what horrors await in the future. <laughs> Minion number two. How is our new torturing technique going? Good news, sir. They have started teaching it in schools and we successfully managed to add alphabets to it. Are, are they talking about maths? God, soon every kid out there will be too busy with it to enjoy life. By the way, any chance of Dracula waking up? Ah, no, Sha. It seems he will sleep for another century or so. Damn it. He said he was going to crash for a few days only. Uh... What the... How did you get in here so easily? This is supposed to be my throne room, the safest place in hell. I, uh, I beat up the flower. <laughs> Those morons. I bet they got confused and decided to just let you in. Fine, let's get this over with. So, last soul. <laughs> I am Drake, Drake Morris. Right, right, so Drake. How may I help you? I, uh, I think my death was sudden and it was not my time, so... Can I get another chance? Uh, everyone thinks they deserve a second chance, but here's the thing. Facts don't lie. Here are his records, sir. You keep records? Of course, this may be hell, but it is an organized hell. Well, I'll be damned. You already are. Now let's look at what happened. Man, you are pathetic. Getting your ass kicked by an old man and then thrown into a hole to die? Isn't that what technically happened to you too? Yeah, but that was a god himself. Well, my guy had a god complex himself. Uh, are you comparing yourself to the devil? Well, according to your records, you are a grumpy and hateful guy. You would be too if you lived my life. Dude, you are talking to the fallen angel. But you've also saved numerous lives and punished those who broke the law. Interesting, your good and bad points are exactly the same. So what now? Hmm, well, I guess I could give you another chance. Ah, that's great. Or... We could make a court case out of it. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> what the? How did we get here? Oh, nothing special. I just used my evil magic. <laughs> Actually, you were sedated and we brought you here via a tunnel in a bag. You don't need to tell him this. That seems a lot of work for a small joke. Shut up. It's over 9,000 degrees in here and I have no pastime. Let me have this one. Fine, jeez. So, what comes next? We will now discuss whether you should be given a second chance or not. Sounds fun, right? I'm guessing you will be the judge presiding over this? Oh, I guess I will. Mother always told me the devil will judge me for who I am someday. Now then, I have done my research and decided to put this guy as the prosecution. Who? Sorry I'm late, your evilness. Who's this? He looks a bit familiar. Don't you remember the lawyer Evil? He solved his murder, remember? Is that so? I couldn't recognize him without the pool of blood. 
I'm going to make sure you burn here alongside me. What the hell? I solved your case, didn't I? Quiet, you. If you were a good cop, I wouldn't have been murdered in the first place. That's unreasonable. B besides, you wouldn't have been murdered if you kept your nose out of illegal dealings. Hmm. Whatever. I shall take my place now. So, am I defending myself? Not at all. You got a liar too. Meet Phil. Good day to you, I'm Phil. Oh, what the hell. I get a dog lawyer? Why is the dog even in hell? How did he get his lawyering degree? Why is his name Phil? Don't worry, Mr. Morris. This case is ours. We have solid evidence. Really? That's a relief. Unfortunately, I hate the evidence. This case may get a little rough. <laughs> uh, okay. Now I know why you're in hell. This will be too easy. Now that everyone is here, we can now begin the case of the revaluation of Drake Morris. Does the defense have an opening statement? Your Honor, I'm a dog, and a dog can tell whether a person is kind or not by their actions. Please observe as I approach Mr. Drag, and his reaction was that of my instincts to whether he is a good person or not. Objection on the grounds that this is stupid. Denied. Mr. Phil, you may proceed. Thank you, Your Honor. I, uh, bet him, I guess? Oh yeah, now oh, say I'm a good boy. Uh, you're a good boy? That's it, work those hands. This is getting weird. Your Honor, this is making me uncomfortable. Agreed. You have made your point, now you can stop this. Uh, fine. Alright, when I have flushed that image down the toilet, the prosecution can give its opening statement. Your Honor, Drake Morris is a danger to society and should not be allowed among the living. He is a well-known alcoholic and is generally hated by the public. Wouldn't you agree with me, Mr. Drake? I, uh... Well, gotta be honest and say yes. Do you see me arguing? Besides, I only hate those who deserve it. It's not my fault all I ever met are assholes. Ah, I see you're honest about yourself. I like that. Mm. As long as you're being honest, let's confirm one thing. Was this Drag Morse's time to die or not? Uh, doesn't my record says my death was unnatural? Don't be mistaken, as long as the person's time was up, it doesn't matter how they died. Exactly, so no matter how much good he has done, it wouldn't matter if his time was up. Good point, what does the defense have to say about this? What? Sorry, I wasn't listening, I was busy biting my tail. What was the question? God damn it. Uh, listen, I don't think my time was up because this person's actions were very weird. Drazil? What? The person who killed you? Yes, Drazil Euphoria does things which are pretty much impossible. Like what? He somehow manages to enter someone's brain and destroy them from the inside. He has brainwashed people and even managed to break through my dimensional debate and hurt me physically. How preposterous! How can a mental pressure attack hurt someone physically? Hmm... According to his records, Drake was physically disabled before being thrown in the pit. Th then the old man must have beaten him up. Not according to the records. They were having a debate and Drake collapsed due to... Brain hemorrhage. What? But Jack's brain records are clean, and unlike his liver. Wait, what about my liver? How interesting. Bailiff? Hey, Jasso! 
Get me the records of this Drazy Lefari. I would like to know more about him. Right away, sir. While we wait, why don't we discuss the advantages and disadvantages of giving Drakmoris another chance? Drakmoris was an exceptional cop who foiled numerous attacks on Raicha Kingdom and was the key person in the NVIDIA Games Peace Treaty. That was a group effort. He did not act alone. Besides, we are talking about what you see is in the future. Uh... You are without a doubt the worst lawyer in the world. I'm a dog, it's a miracle I even have a lawyer's degree. Besides, this drunk is more in trouble than useful. What if he got married? What if he had children? Do we honestly think that he is capable of being a worthy husband and father? Drag Morris, with or without you, people live and die. What makes you so special that you think you deserve anything different? Let me ask you this, as a person, do you really think you deserve another chance? I... I... We have a huge problem, sir! What is it? Drazy Rifari. There are no records of such a person ever existing. What? How is this possible? Hell has a record of every soul, ranging from the smallest insect to the biggest dragons. Hmm. Is Drace an imaginary person? I am pretty sure imagination doesn't throw you in a pit. I don't understand, sir. What is happening? <laughs> sir? <laughs> so that's what's going on, eh? Did someone really thought they could sneak past me and conquer Earth without me noticing? Rejoice, Drag Morris. Today is your lucky day. What? I'll give you your second chance, but you will have to do something in return. What is that? Defeat this Drazily Fury and then kill him. Uh, I can defeat him, but I don't know about killing him. Unfortunately, you don't have a choice. What you are facing isn't the person with the god complex. Dragil Ufuri is a real god. W what? Thanks for holding on to the questions till we came here. Beads being knocked out and carried in a bag. I tagged along too. Fantastic. Now. Can we talk about the issue at hand? About Drazil and how he's a real god? You live in a world filled with dragons. People who project inhuman strength and you are in front of the literal devil. So why is it so hard to believe that gods actually exist? Gods? As in more than one? Oh my, <laughs> yes. There are plenty, ranging from small pagan gods to the almighty galaxy creating gods. And Drazil is one of them. Is that why he doesn't have any records? Exactly. Some decide to stay up in heaven their whole life while some go to earth for some occasional purpose. Since they have their own personal pathways, I can't keep records on them. But a common rule exists among gods that they can't enter Earth without notifying the rest of them. So we have an illegal immigrant in our hands. They took our jobs. Unfortunately, I'm not allowed to leave hell, considering it a house arrest. So you will have to do it. How am I supposed to win against a god, let alone fight him? No matter the strength a god possesses, it is limited due to the fragility of the mortal vessel. Drazil is the vessel of that god. Destroy the vessel and the god can't stay on earth without it. However, we don't even know what type of god we are facing, so to find out, I give you... The Mirror of the Soul. Sounds dramatic, what does it do? Consider it a gateway of time and memory. You will enter the world of your memory and find Drazio. 
It's hard to find people who are not in my records, but if you already met him, I can use you to find him. You want me to go through the garbage dump that is my life? This will be quite unpleasant. Earlier, the lawyer Evil asked you whether or not you think you deserve a second chance. Well, now you can find out. Hold on, Mr. Drag, this mirror is not just that. If you're not careful enough, you will be trapped in there forever. So, what will it be, Drag? Will you spend your time in hell and pass on to the next life, or...? Will you conquer your fears and defeat God himself? I'm scared. I'm scared because I know that my biggest fears and regrets lie on the other side of that mirror. I know this will be painful, but I promise the very same person who is at the base of all my regrets that I will not back down. Let heaven and hell turn against me. I won't stop living my life the way I want, because nothing worth living comes without a struggle. <laughs> well said. Alright guys, that was the end again. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit that like button, that way I actually know you enjoyed it. And consider subscribing. That way we'll see each other in the next video. Ciao!